Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Thought I'd run through a really quick little tip that I uh, I really like, and it's uh, it's a long standing. I guess it, it, it's almost a secret because it's not really used or known by a lot of people. So let's uh, give this a try. Within Wireshark, when you go to capture some packets and you get the capture option screen up, this capture filter syntax um, is different than the the display filter syntax. So this capture filter syntax is based on um, or it's compatible with TCP dump and wind dump uh, which a lot of people may be familiar with uh, but it's it's relatively limited when compared to the display filters that we have available here. So the display filter I find um, tends to be uh, a lot more detailed and for example I'll just give a quick example instead of trying to spit this out if I was to go within an HTTP get command and I was to highlight the actual request method which is a get down here it tells me a description of that field and then over here it tells me the field name uh, or the protocol ID it depends on what you're highlighting but in this case it's HTTP dot request dot method and from that if I wanted to I can prepare a filter select it and it puts that display filter up here. Now the problem we run into is people try to take this cut capture options. Whoops, oh, I got a little happy there. And within capture options, just went off on the other screen, they try to paste that in there. And and obviously the background's pink or or salmon for the people who care. And you can't use it. So then what do you have to do? Then you have to resort to some offset filters, which gets to be just a pain. So the other way to do this is if you were to use uh, T-Shark from the command prompt. Now I have Wireshark within my path, so I can just type T-Shark here. And obviously T-Shark dash dash H shows us all of the various parameters and options available. But we're going to play with this, this dash capital R. So if I was to dash capital R and then double quote and then paste that HTTP dot request dot method equals get and press enter off it goes now if I just go back to my web browser of choice and refresh you can see there's just the get commands see HTTP get if I scroll up a little bit get 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 so that's a really really slick and easy way to leverage the power of the display filters and leverage them in the capture filter now from my research I had not been able to get a definite answer but it does definitely seem that if you go within your capture options screen within the GUI uh, that dash capital R does not seem to work and I've tried putting quotes around it like such um, and it just doesn't. So I assume it's just supported within T-Shark and not the Wireshark GUI. If, if I'm wrong, please let me know, but I, I just can't get it to work. That's it. So have a good day. Bye for now.